There was a man by the name of Abu Hassan. This is true. It happened in Egypt. A long time ago, there was this dictator by the name of Ibn Tulum. He imprisoned and killed and tortured so many Muslims. Came to him a man by the name of Abu Hassan. He says, fear Allah. All these people that you have missed, you know, unjustly treated in jails, be fear Allah. He says, you're training me to fear Allah. He took him into this arena. He says, I'm going to punish you, punish me. I've never punished anybody before you. He brought him into this arena. And then he got a, a lion coming out to go and devour him in front of everyone. In front of everybody. The guy sitting, Abu Hassan, his name is. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, a lion came out, rushing, went into Abu Hassan. You know what Abu Hassan did? Allahu Akbar. He went into the salah. He went into the prayer. At this, if I die, I die as a bunch. Allahu Akbar. The line came, so going around Abu Hassan. Saliva coming down from the lion's mouth. And then going down, going, Abu Hassan is in his salah. He's not even there. And then all of a sudden, the lion sat down like a kitty, kitty, kitty cat. A kitten sat down. People are watching. They took them out. Abu Hassan got freed and they asked Abu Hassan, Yeah, Abu Hassan, we were there when that lion came. What were you thinking? We we're so scared. We thought the lion's gonna come and kill you. What were you thinking? You know what Abu Hassan said? He says, Wallahi, I was not thinking of what you guys were thinking of. I was not concerned about what you guys were concerned about. I wasn't even afraid of what you guys are afraid of. The only thing I was thinking about, listen, the only thing I was listening, thinking about is. The saliva coming down from the lion touching my clothes. Is it najas or not najas? Is it pure or not pure? Because if it's not pure, it will invalidate my wudu. Thus, it will invalidate my prayer. If the entire mankind, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, if the entire mankind from ins and jinn, they come together to harm you, and Allah does not want to harm you, you shall not be harmed. If the entire mankind from ins and jinn, they came together to benefit you, but Allah does not want to benefit you, you shall not be benefited. What can only happen is what Allah has willed to happen. Put your trust on Allah. Merci d'avoir regardé. Et à la prochaine fois, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.